Hello everyone. Good day. Today we are going to discuss about the system data management. In that system data management, we will be using update jobs and delete jobs. By using update jobs, what we can do is we can update the bulk amount of data without writing any script. Let me create a new one. Uh, whenever uh, we are having like uh, on a certain condition, we need to update the bulk amount of data or we need to set values for bulk amount of records. Then we will write fixed script or background script to check or to run those particular records. So by avoiding those scripts, we can use this update jobs to write those without scripting. Let me select here it as case table. So let me give it as channel is web of phone. So let's preview how many records we have with this condition. So we have a story like we need to update or set the values for uh, records which is having channel is phone. So let me set a value for this particular records. We have two records. Let me set any one of the value. I'm setting as assignment group. Let me set assignment group as customer support. Okay, customer service. So now I'm setting the values for those two records as assignment group as customer service. After that, you can save this record. So let me talk about auto updating system fields. By checking this auto updating system fields value, you are saying that I need updated by field and sys updated fields. So if you are unchecking it, it won't update those fields. It will show the uh, early, uh, oldest data which they are using on these particular records. If you are checking it, it will show the latest update who is done on those particular two records. It will work as like uh, auto sys fields is false when we are writing scripts we will write few times uh, like auto sys fields false uh, it says like we don't want to update those particular fields like updated by or updated so run business rule and engines it will work as like set workflow false when we are writing scripts we will do set workflow false so what it means is like whenever we are running the script don't run the business rule and other scripts in the background that is what it means so whenever you are checking this you says that run the business rules and background scripts on this particular table if you are unchecking that unchecking it says that you don't run any scripts on this particular table when it is running and if you want to run it uh, run this update job at some particular time like midnight or some other day you can set it so that it will run when the particular time hits or if you want to do it now you can click on execute now let me click on execute now so that it will execute now meanwhile let me open the case table and we are giving channel as phone let me filter with that so we have total two records let me bring assignment group onto the list So here you can see assignment group is empty. Now it should be set to customer service, which we are using it here. Field and values will set the particular value. Let me click on execute now. Let me proceed this. So it started running and it's completed. And you can check the results by clicking check execution results. Let me go to the case form and refresh this so that it should update the assignment group as customer service and you can see updated is just now because we are checking it we are checking the updated fields on the update job so it's updating with the latest date and time and latest person or user who is updating that particular records here you can see we checked it at updated system fields this is how update jobs will work so it is very easy to use when we are updating a bulk data without writing any scripts. Let me move on to the delete jobs. This is also same functionality. If you want to delete jobs in a bulk, so you can go with the delete jobs. You can avoid writing fixed scripts or background scripts, whatever script you prefer. By using this, we can create a delete job. 
let's select same table again case table and let me give condition based on the contact let me give this person see we only have one record with this particular contact let me go and give the same condition here contact is let's type few words so that it will auto populate see this is the contact i'm taking whatever the records present on this particular condition which matches it should delete all those records let's preview this so we only have one record which matches this particular condition same here if you want to run business rules and other scripts in the background you can check it if you don't want you can uncheck it let me save this record after that we can execute right now or we can give some particular time to run this particular delete job so let me click on execute now you can click on proceed by doing it it starts running and it shows complete and success after finishing let me go back and let me refresh this case page and this record should be deleted as per delete job see here you can see we don't have any uh, any record here it's deleted so let me go to the delete job again here you can see in data management deletion counts you can see one record it is already deleted from the case table and if you want to roll back this particular job you can click on roll back so that whatever data is deleted it will be again roll back into the case table not only this update jobs also we can do roll back we have roll back option for both let me show you here in update jobs also same thing if you click on roll back it will start roll back option here you can see it is succeeded and roll back that particular record and we have same roll back in update jobs also you can roll back whatever you done in the update job this is how it works we can use system data management whenever you required without using any scripts when uh, whenever you're doing bulk updates or bulk deletions so here you can see after roll backing the delete job it is again populated here in the case table this is how it works thank you